Hello, so today I am going to be doing a video, a comparison video of the IF25A, just under two different cells. So uh, actually we'll use three different cells. So I've got three uh, three cells here. This is the Sofern 4000, 5000, and uh, this is the Samsung 40T here on the left. So this one here, the 4000, um, Sofern 4000 cell that came with the flashlight. And this one I bought separately because I've read reviews online saying that the IF25A is actually brighter uh, using this battery. So one of my subscribers, Experienced Pionis, actually came up with a really great idea to install this Luxmeter app on my phone and uh, just use that in order to test the relative brightness um, under the two different cells. At the moment, I'm still doing some research into getting a lux meter and putting together my own rig here at home. But for the time being, I think this is a pretty good idea. So thanks for the suggestion. So let's go ahead and see if any one of these batteries actually perform better. I've charged these cells to the maximum. So I think it's 4.15 to 4.17 volts. I've measured all the voltages with uh, my multimeter just to make sure that we are off to a fair start. So without further ado, I'm just gonna turn off the lights and we'll begin the test. So I'm just putting in the Sofern uh, 4000 cell and that's apparently a Leafern cell that is uh, has high draw capacity. So I'm gonna put that on the little testing patch here to the side. I'm putting the torch in the exact same place. Just mark that out with a bit of masking tape. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. So it looks like with the Sofern 4000, you get a maximum of 600 and a maximum of 442 here on the Lux app. So let's try the 40T, the Samsung 40T, and see if this has um, makes any difference at all to the brightness. So I'm putting it onto the testing area again. And before I do, just reset these. And let's go. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's really much of a difference. Uh, let's go ahead and try with the Sofern 5000 milliamp hour cell. I think that has a lower draw capacity, so um, it should produce maybe some lower lux scores. So I'm just gonna reset these again. Okay, put it in the testing area and let's try again. Okay, so pretty, you know, it's a little bit lower. It's uh, definitely a little bit lower than the 4,000 uh, cells, but um, still quite comparable. Considering that the battery holds another 1,000 uh, milliamps, I think that's, uh, you know, if you're looking for something that can actually last a bit longer, you might find that's your, your best bet to actually use in this light without too much of a, of a difference to the brightness. It looks like there's no difference between using the Samsung 40T and the 4000 milliamp cell that comes with the flashlight. And again, I think that's due to this cell being apparently a rebadged Leafern cell, which has similar draw, I think 30, 30 or 35 amp draw as the Samsung 40T. It'd be interesting to see if a Samsung 30T would have an influence on the brightness. Apparently the 30T has less internal resistance, but you know, significantly less capacity. So I may order one of those in just to try it at a later stage. But for the time being, I don't see any difference between those two. The 5000 milliamp our cell did produce pretty pretty uh, similar results as well. And just as a bonus as well, I added these three different cells into my Sofern SP35 just to see if there would be a change in brightness between the cells. And I didn't find there to be a difference, uh, probably plus or minus five. So that's pretty much about it for this video. So again, if you're looking to decide which cell to get or whether it's worthwhile getting um, the 21700, 
probably not based on these tests. Um, the battery that comes with the, 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 the flashlight works pretty well and produces similar figures in terms of brightness. So that's about it for this video. If you like the video and you want to see more, do consider subscribing. That does help to support me and uh, make more videos. Thanks for watching.